I wanted to preface this video first by saying I, I was super impressed by these speakers and as I was recording it I was like man you guys are gonna be like really impressed also and as I started editing I realized that the audio just does not do it justice so I'm sorry you guys may not be able to tell much of a difference but you just have to take my word for it they sound so much better they're so much clearer than the old ones that I had I didn't really realize that the old ones were just so muffled so I'm really impressed with these I hope you guys like this at the very end of the video I'm going to go ahead and put the two clips side by side so one after another so that way you can hopefully hear a little bit better comparison but again I was just too, super happy with how these came out and then as I started editing I was like oh man I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell as you're playing it back on your device I just want to say that and apologize up front but hope you guys like this video I get a lot of questions on my channel asking about speakers so that's why I did this speaker video right here but um, some people, they, they really love, and you guys know that I love the Dayton Audio speakers. And um, I've used them many, many, many times. And I love them. So uh, when I get lots of questions um, about uh, some people that they want higher quality speakers than just the Daytons. Uh, because the Daytons are a good mid-level range speaker if you just want uh, whole home audio, you know, just background music, then I think that that's probably what you would go for is the Dayton's. But lots of people, they don't want just for background music, whether you want these for home theater, or even if you're going to use them for background music, but you want a higher quality uh, sound, uh, people are, are wanting that. So again, it, it depends on what you're going after. But a lot of people ask me, and so that got me thinking, I want to find the cheapest, highest quality ceiling speaker and I think that I may have found that with this new Sound Davo speaker. So these speakers are supposed to be competitors to high-end brands such as Martin Logan, Focal IC, and Nuvo, and those speakers are all uh, $699 a pair. So very expensive speakers. Good speakers, but very expensive. So I wanted to set out, can I find a speaker that is just as high quality as those? And I'll we'll go through specs, and we're going to try to listen to some to these, and uh, I'll talk about that here in a minute. But I want to find the highest quality for the best bang for your buck, and I think we might have found that with these Sound Doggo speakers. So let's get this box open. Let's talk about them. Let's look at them, and then we're going to swap out some old eight-inch speakers that were in this home when I bought it. I don't even know what they are, uh, but we're going to swap them out. And we're going to try to do some sound comparisons with what's in there now, and and with these. So let's get into it. So right out of the gate, look at this thing. I mean, look at the construction of this. Um, these have some other features. So in comparison, I wanted to show, this is the uh, Dayton Audio series that I use. Now don't get caught up with the size, okay? This is just the eight inch, this is the six and a half inch, but the eight inch of the Dayton Audios, it looks exactly like this, but it's just bigger. So. What I wanted to demonstrate here is I wanted to show you the quality differences because these speakers, like I said, these are high quality speakers and there are some differences. So these are just run of the mill, pretty basic. They're gonna give you a good sound, you know, for your whole home audio. They're gonna, it's gonna sound good. But if you want it to sound great, amazing, you're gonna need to get something a little bit different. Now you can see, I mean, these already, these have so much more going on because it's doing a lot more with the sound that's coming out. Let's look at the front of this. So these have real carbon fiber cones with a real rubber surrounded edge. And the acoustics are just a lot different with how this is, they have this scooped. They're using a real aluminum tweeter. Okay, so they're not using the paper cones, they're not using the, the tweeters. A lot of people ask about how are mono price speakers. And again, they are similar to these. What mono price is doing is using a recycled paper cone. Okay, it's recycled paper, so they're saving some money and they do not sound as good as real carbon fiber. Flip this over and look at the back, you can see the carbon fiber weavings that they have going on back here. Okay. 
So those are two major, major differences. So carbon fiber tone, cone, rubber surround, real aluminum tweeter. And then we have some front mounted switches. So this is gonna give you even more control over your system. Um, this is a plus 3 dB or a minus 3 dB switch, or you can keep it in the middle if you don't want that, um, if you don't need any of that. But what this is gonna do is for your acoustics of your room, if you need extra bass, extra treble, or you need to tone it down, you know, if you're using these in a uh, home theater setup and you need to tone it down, you can do that on the front mounted switches. And not only that, the um, grills are, um, these are the magnetic kind. So they snap on super easy and they come off really easily. These are super awesome. So what we need to do now is we need to test these. You guys need to hear these. I haven't even heard these, but from all the research I've done and the fact that they have engineered these to be of the same specifications and same quality as the $699 speakers. Um, I have very, very high hopes for these. I think these are your best bang for your buck, high quality speakers. And the six and a half inch that they sell, so again, I've got the eight inch, the six and a half inch that they sell is under $200 a pair. Okay, I, I mean, I can't believe that they were able to squeeze under $200 a pair. Um, check the coupon code and the link for the description and that'll give you 15% off. But the eight inches is like $200 $28 for the entire pair. So they have the same specs and quality as those high end and the reason, a lot of reasons why those high end brands is because a lot of times, sometimes you have to go through dealers, sometimes um, you're paying for a markup on brand and stuff like that. So anyway, that's, that's a reason why, um, you know, these are cheaper and whatnot. But we need to get these tested out. So let's do a sound test. I'm going to set up my laptop and my um, audio recording microphone. And I know that a lot of times when you try hearing sound tests, you know, it's only going to be as good as the speakers that you're listening on. So I'm going to do my best to control the environment here. And I hope that it's reflected in what you're listening in. But uh, let's do it. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and keep this as controlled as I can. Again, I'm going to do my best. And if you're listening on a phone, you know, it obviously isn't going to sound as good as if you're listening on some high dollar headphones through your computer, but this is what I'm going to do. I've got my table set up here with my laptop. I've got my recording microphone hooked up to the table at about, you know, ear level where you'd probably be sitting if you were sitting on a couch and I have measured it. Here's my first speaker right here. Um, I've measured it and we're in the center. So the table is in the center, the microphone's in the center. So just like you would be sitting here. And so then I'm going to um, use my WS66i whole home audio amp, which these speakers work uh, just fine for those. They, they work great for your uh, home theater amplifiers. They'll work great for uh, the WS66i. They're paired up just fine with that. But down here in my basement is where I've got my keypad right here. I'm going to keep the volume um, the same and I'm going to turn uh, keep the treble and the bass the same so I'm gonna keep it um, uh, let's see I might keep it at zero and zero zero treble zero bass so we'll just get like a flat out um, listening experience
All right, I just wanted to point out. Um, so these apparently are Niles CM800HDs. So I'll have to look up more of the specs on these, but I feel like at the time, I, they're definitely old. I feel like at the time these were probably pretty good speakers. But, um, you know, things change and um, this one also, to my surprise, did have a plus, uh, actually a plus zero dB treble or a minus three or a plus zero bass or minus three. So this one appears to only let you dial back, whereas this one can give you plus, minus, or you know nothing at all, um, just a normal, I guess. But um, this one, no carbon fiber cone. Um, it does have the rubber surround, and this tweeter is most likely some kind of a, a paper tweeter. It's, it's definitely not a, I don't believe it's a metal tweeter but definitely not carbon fiber. And so if you just look at the front of these, definitely some differences. Definitely looks a lot better, a lot more acoustically sound on these. So let's get these put in and let's hear these things. They went right in. I didn't have to shave anything, it literally Lines right up with the old like paint markings where it looks like at one point the ceilings were painted. And that is the edge to edge grill, whereas the other one you saw it had the, the bevel on it. So these come on and off super nice. So love those. turn up the bass on my volume control. So that made a pretty big difference. I need to start the song over again. So there you have it. Um, if you're looking for super high quality speakers, some that you know are manufactured just like the the Nuvo, the Focal IC, and even the Martin Logans, um, the specifications are right up there with those and build quality and materials. Then you seriously need to give the Soundavo speakers, the six and a half inch or the eight inch speaker, a try. And those will be great if you're looking for you know something for your home theater. These are meant for high quality home theater, but also if you're just doing your whole home audio, um, you know, give those a check out. Again, every person's going to have their own you know needs. Um, 
Again, if you're not wanting to spend $200 for a pair on a speaker, uh, you're just wanting background music, then these are not the speakers for you. But again, a lot of people, they want higher quality. So I set out to make this video because I seriously think that you'll get the highest quality bang for your buck with these speakers. So give them a try. I think you're really going to like them. If you guys have any questions, just shoot them down in the comments. I like doing this. You know my channel is just kind of picking out random stuff and uh, trying out and seeing how you get high quality results at far less money. So uh, shoot me a comment. I'd like to hear from you guys. And uh, like and subscribe and we'll talk to you in the next one.